Okay, so for part three, <clears throat> we're actually going to just be now applying these skills that we've learned in word problem settings. Okay, so it says Clarice has two lengths of fabric to make covers for a sofa and chair. The covers require nine and two thirds fab yards of fabric. How much fabric will Clarice have left? Well, again, we need to be able to figure out how much fabric she has to begin with. So we have to do some addition. So let's do uh, a little our work on the side here. And again, we're going to use our traditional way that we've been doing it. So again, we have to have seven and five sixths and five and three fourths. And again, we are adding this to find the total amount of materials she has, fabric she has. So um, I'm going to find a common denominator. Now, could I use 24? Sure. But let's think. Um, what? Let's think of our six times table. Is f six a multiple of four? No. So let's do the next multiple of six. So that would be 12. Is 12 a multiple of four? Sure. So let's use 12. So what am I multiplying by? Three. So three times three is nine. What am I multiplying by here? Two. So five times two is 10. So when I add it together, I have 19 twelfths, 12 and 19 twelfths. Now this 19 twelfths has to be converted. So 12 twelfths equals one whole, and that leaves seven twelfths left over. So that means 13 and seven twelfths is being you is the total amount of fabric that um, this person has. Now we know that with, with this project she's going to use nine and two-thirds. So let's and so she's going to take that away from the to the amount that she has. So let's find what we're going to do here. So we're going to use 12 as the common denominator. So multiplying by four, so four, uh, two times four is eight. Can I take eight from seven? No, I can't. So I need to convert that. So I'm going to take 12 twelfths out of here and bring it over here. So 12 twelfths plus seven twelfths will give me, I'm going to put it over here. That's going to give me 19 twelfths. Now I can subtract the eight twelfths minus eight twelfths. That leaves me with 11 twelfths and 12 minus 9 is 3. So he, Clarice will have 3 and 11 twelfths yards of fabric left. Again, this is just combining all the ideas that we are, we've already learned. This p problem in particular, especially with the regrouping with subtraction, is a spectacular problem. I, I also love how we have to convert this fraction greater than 1 into a mixed number. So again, let's take a, take a look, and, it, and obviously we were doing a really good job here. Um, so let's take a look at this problem here. It says Clarice has uh, 14 and 3 fourths yards of fabric to cover another sofa and chair. The new sofa needs 9 and 1 6 yards of fabric, and the new chair needs 4 and 1. Uh, one third yards of fabric estimate to decide if she uh, has enough of fabric so let's estimate now let's <clears throat> estimate by going to the nearest whole number so nine and one six would round to nine four and one third would round to four so I would expect that the uh, that she well, I would estimate that she has about 13 yards of fabric and because I know there are fractions attached to these uh, numbers. I know it's a little bit more than 13, but I don't believe it's not going to be uh, anywhere close to uh, 14 and 3 fourths. So I think she's fine. So again, this is all applying these skills. Again, th th these are just, uh, you're practicing what you've already, what you've already done here and these problems. And let's take a look at some of the other problems. Let's see. Let's do this problem here. <clears throat> How much longer is the maximum jump of a South African sharp-nosed frog than the maximum jump of the uh, uh, leopard frog? So maximum jump. 
is 213 and a half for the South African frog um, is 313 uh, um, leopard frog sorry uh, so again we were looking at the um, three th 334 and two-fifths yeah, centimeters jump for uh, the South African um, frog and 162 and a half centimeters so we need to figure out the difference in that so we're going to do a little subtraction here 334 and two-fifths and 162 and one-half now again just because we have larger numbers that doesn't really mean much all we're going to do is do our normal technique here we're going to use 10 as our denominator what am i multiplying by five so one times five is five what am i multiplying by two two times two is four now can i do this can i take five from four no so i'm going to make this 333 and take 10 tenths and bring it on over here so now it's not going to be 4 tenths it's going to be 14 tenths okay and we're going to take 5 tenths away so that leaves me with 9 tenths and again just doing some simple subtraction here we are left with 171 and 9 tenths centimeters difference between the South African frog and the leopard frog okay so again this these are great problems to apply the skills that we were learning please take a look at <clears throat> some of these problems because you will see them again in your assessment where you're plugging in this number and you're seeing if the uh, answer is uh, true okay so make sure that you uh, practice doing these problems also all right we will take a look at the very last uh, lesson of the chapter okay in the very last lesson of the chapter as it always is it's an application lesson so we are going to be applying all of our skills that we've learned in this chapter okay so it says the first rest the first step of the recipe in is to mix the flour white uh, sugar and brown uh, brown sugar uh, will the uh, bowl that holds four cups be large enough? <clears throat> so we need to find our total here. So again, what are we talking about? We're talking about flour. We're talking about white sugar and brown sugar. So here are our numbers that we are dealing with here. All right, so uh, we can use our models. Uh, again, as we normally do, we use a nice bar, bar diagram to represent the equation. N equals the amount of cups total. And we're going to add these together. So let's do that off on the side here. So we have 1 and 3 fourths, 1 half, and 1 and 1 fourth. So when I uh, take a look, we're adding these together. We're going to use 4 as the denominator. Okay, so that's going to be all of our work there. <clears throat> so uh, when we add that together, we end up with 6 fourths and 2 wholes. So we have to convert this to 1 and 2 fourths, which is 1 and a half and put that together with our two and we end up with three and a half cups okay and we know we have to uh, we have to also look at the second part here so the second part is she has four cups so what would be four cups minus three and a half well again we don't have to do the long way but we can we should be able to see that there's only a half a cup difference but if we want to do this we could very simply go ahead and do this and do our subtraction and realize that there's a half cup of room left in the bowl okay so in this example we have philip wants to run th a total of three miles each day monday morning he ran one and seven eighths miles how many more miles does he still need to run so let's take a peek at what we should do let's do our diagram so I know that the total is already three miles. Uh, 
But the other part of the diagram is I know that so far he's run one and seven eighths mile. I don't know how many miles he needs to run. Um, he still needs to run. So I know that one and seven eighths plus m equals three miles. So I need to think about how I'm going to solve this. So what I would do is subtract 1 and 7 eighths from 3 to find out. So let's do that work over here. So 3 minus 1 and 7 eighths. Let's subtract it. Again, but we can't do this because we don't have a fraction, so we have to get a fraction. So we're going to make 3 into 2 and 8 eighths. So let's take a look at this. That makes three, right? Because that's one whole and that's two. Put them together, you got three. So let's do our subtraction. Eight, eight eighths minus seven eighths is one eighth. Two minus one is one. So Philip needs to run one and one eighth mile in order to meet his goal. All right. So let's take a look at another problem. Let's take a look at this problem. A landscaper used two and a half tons of sunburst pebbles, three and one, uh, three and one fourth tons of black polished pebbles, and five eighths tons of river pebbles. What was the total weight of the pebbles? Okay, so let's start, uh, draw our diagram. So we don't know what the, the total weight. So we're going to say t equals our total, and we know that we know some of our information here. We have two and a half tons of one. We have three and one fourth tons of another, and five and five eighths a ton of a river. Now, my diagram may not be exactly accurate, but the total is what we need to do. So here is what we're going to do: is two and one half plus three and one fourth plus five eighths equals t for the total amount of tons. All right, so let's figure this problem out. Two and a half, three and one fourth, five eighths. Now let's make sure that we, and we're going to add this together, make sure we use our common denominator. What's it going to be? It's going to be eight. All right, so this stays the same. This is times two. This is times four. So we add it together. Four plus two plus five, again, is going to equal 11 eighths. And that's one and three eighths. And then don't forget the whole numbers. Two plus three is five. So putting this together, six and three eighths tons of pebbles. So that is this chapter. Again, this chapter begins with the ability to estimate, find common denominators, find <coughs> equivalent fractions, add those fractions together, subtract those fractions. Then we moved into mixed numbers, estimating mixed numbers, adding mixed numbers together using the same skills, subtraction, now, subtraction has a few extra things that you have to remember to do with the regrouping. So if that regrouping is difficult, practice it. And then lastly, we have to be able to apply our skills, with, uh, and that's what we did in this last video. We applied our skills using um, our uh, addition of mixed numbers and subtraction of mixed numbers in order to solve problems, real-world problems. All right. Keep working hard. See you in the next topic.